Hey, this is Steve the Chef from Galveston School of Cooking TV, and today we are making dough for everything. Well, almost everything. If pizza and French bread are everything to you, this is all you'll ever need. So this is the dough I make pretty much all the time. I start with three cups of all-purpose flour. I add a packet of yeast to one and a quarter cups of warm water. And to give the yeast something to chew on while they're in there swimming around, I add a little sugar. I think it's like giving them popcorn while they're at a movie. I think that's a good thing to do. And I add about half a teaspoon of salt to my flour. And I put it on my stand mixer, mix it around, get the salt blended in with the flour. And then once I'm happy with that, I add my yeast mixture and I will swizzle that around for about 10 minutes on a pretty low speed, about number two. And in about 10 minutes, you have a bunch of sticky dough. So then I add some flour to my board, not too much flour, just enough so it doesn't stick. I pull the dough ball off, plop it down on the board, get every little bit, slap it in there. So you pick it up, you roll it around in your hands, you knead it, it wants to be kneaded, it needs to be kneaded, you know, just like everybody. So roll that around in your hands for a few minutes until you get a nice dough ball like that. Give it a little slap. So to my mixer bowl, I add some olive oil. Not too much, just coat the sides. And then I put my dough ball in there, roll it around, coat it with the oil. This will keep it from drying out, why? Because we are gonna set it aside for about two hours cover it with aluminum foil and I will move it off and put it in a warm place. I usually use my turned off oven and about two hours later you get something like this. It has doubled in size and is nice and spongy. Now I'm going to put some flour on my board. Not too much, just enough so that it doesn't stick while I roll it out. And I'm going to play with it for a couple of minutes just stretching it giving it a little massage, roll it over, give it another massage. I usually shape mine into a loaf like this so that it's easier to cut into somewhat equal pieces. I'm using my dough scraper here to slice through the dough. And like I said, try to get equal pieces. They don't have to be exact, but close. And I spread out a little flour on the board because I'm gonna take each one of these pieces and roll them into a ball and cover them for about 30 minutes. And then you can use them for bread, roll out into a pizza crust, whatever. And this one has taken an unusual amount of time. I usually don't take that long, but I'm sure there was a good reason for me doing it. So there's my uh, one, two, three, four dough balls and I'll cover those and about 30 minutes later you get this nice dough balls ready to roll out into whatever you want. So hey thanks for watching please subscribe this is Galveston School of Cooking TV and I'm Steve the Chef. Thanks.